So clearly, I am again wearing my. I, I said, Sharon, I need a badge that says Honorary Osborne. Oh yeah, because definitely. because last week we did a show called The Osborne. There was only Aussie here. Like I said, I, I get the call. Hey, come over, be a part of the thing. And then no one no shows one's up. No one's here. No I one. I know. So at least we've got Osbournes yeah. together. Crazy. Hey, but that's how it goes. I need to go to a happier place. I feel romantic. Good half, Aussie. Just go to bed, darling. Oh! Oh! All right, change the subject. How are you guys? All right, I'm okay. How are you, you, you Bob? I'm good. I just had a big piece of Christmas cake. I feel fine. Are you st do you still have a fridge full of leftovers? Yes, of course. But you know the Christmas cake lasts forever and I... Yeah. Yeah, I ate a Christmas pudding, you know the ones you microwave, that was five years old. And yeah. it tasted just fine. Yeah, they and, last forever. And what I like, here's something weird about me with Christmas is I don't like the smell of cooking turkey, but I love a turkey sandwich after the fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. just butter well, I and what. always find dry. Turkeys are very, very dry. That's dry. why you have to put half a pound of Kerrygold on it. Some butter. Oh, Billy. You, you, the white bread and then loads of butter and then oh, and it, God. it moistens the turkey. Yeah, right. And some Branston pickle. Do you like Branston pickle? Yes, I do. Are you a, are you a plowman's couple? Do you like yep. a good oh, plowman? Definitely. Do they know what plowman's is even no. in, in America? Well, uh, it's, somebody should introduce it. It's just bread and cheese and yeah. pickle. Yeah, but it's a British staple for anyone watching that's, what are they talking about? A plowman's is a lunch that you get in a pub, right? Yeah. yeah. And it is crispy French bread and then cheese and Branston pickle and that's it. Lettuce. Lettuce, and like garnish and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Couple maybe, of pickled onions. Mate, oh, oh, maybe we need to open a uh, I'll tell you what, she plowman's she pub. Yeah. When Sharon went back to England... She come back with some mince pies, and I was bollocking them down. Yeah, but you know you can get Walker's mince pies here. No, oh I yeah. Didn't. Where so do you get them? I don't I know. know that but must people five hundred years. Old. That's what I got for Christmas from about five different people. No, and they're proper Walker's shortbreads. Yeah. But mince you know, pies. you know, what Sharon bought me for Christmas uh, an electric grill. Why? Because you, uh, because you, we've got a cooker yeah. that is so sophisticated, I can't work it. There's no grill. Well, I have there a story. There is, but I don't know how to use it. Do you remember two Christmases ago? <laughs> do you do you do, <laughs> you're, you're giggling nervously because you're not on, quite sure go where on. I'm going. I can tell you, Sharon set fire to the kitchen. Again. Do you remember that? Yes. When when suddenly, I don't know what we're all sitting in the living bit of the kitchen and suddenly there's screaming going on and there's smoke <laughs> and there's flames. And Sharon was mad. That was your job. You were manning something. Yeah. And it all went Pete's on. It always does. Billy, <laughs> well, well, it well, always does. I remember does. one year we were in Palm Springs, Palm Springs rented a house years ago. And she's she, 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 doing the turkey. She goes, oh, I forgot to put the bacon in, in with the turkey. No, stuffing. B b bacon in what? What's it? Rashes of fucking bacon over the bars. I'm peeling potatoes in, in the sink. And suddenly fucking flying flies out the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? She was trying she to kill you at that she point. She put the b b bacon rashes over the bars. And the fat dripped into the fucking... Doesn't, doesn't like, serious fire start if you don't do all that shit correctly? Yeah, of course. Of course. Flying bell. So you bought him a, a what? An electric no, grill? No, a little grill that, God, I don't even think it was, like, 70 bucks. You just plug it in? Yeah, and, and it grills everything. So now everything we eat goes <laughs> in this little $70 yes. grill. Yes, air fryer. Get an air fryer. I've got one, but I don't know how to use it. Oh, Sharon, come on. Just read the thing. <laughs> you don't you don't read instructions. Well, I can't see for first. Then I've got to find the glasses <laughs> and I can't see to find them. So it's like forget it. <laughs> forget it. I will, make it up as she goes along. I gotta say, I've noticed my eyes. I've started to be 
That guy. I had yeah. my eyes fixed. Well, I did too 20 years ago, and it served me well. I might. Not that, not that laser. Oh, you didn't? I had that. That didn't work. But then I had, what's the, what was the second one? The lenses put in. I had lenses put in my eyes. You did? I, and so far, I am done years ago. Uh, my eyes got so bad. Yeah. I couldn't see the fucking front. Was it heavy? Is that a heavy operation? No. I'm already going, no. can I have this done? No, it's you, not. You have one eye done one day, and you go next week, and then it's And the that's other not LASIK? No. I know what they call it. It's a laser doing something, right. but they it's, put a, uh, it's, a lens it's, it's, in. Um, what's that thing you get on your eyes? Um, Stigmatism. Oh. No, no. no. Oh, those things that grows over the eye. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I, know you you I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cataracts, yes. Cataracts. I have cataract surgery. And they put a lens in. But I don't have a cataract. But so. you, well, you don't need to, you... to have a lens put in. They'll just wallop one in. <laughs> in your world, maybe. I don't need to have the issue. I just tell them to do it just and they'll do it. Do... <laughs> put it in. Why she not? Sharon says, oh, I'm not, no. I'm not having it done. Oh, see, I, I'll have anything done that that is is beneficial. Uh, I'm, I'm my eyes up with fucking. Terrible. I need to do. So. I, I'm that guy, you know. Like I was in the D. <laughs> I mean, I, I could re- see oh, this perfectly then, before. Really? I, I can't. I'm like. Before I was in was the like, D. That would that would have been a mess. I wouldn't be able to read. Aussie, that. I had to go to. Um, you have to renew your driver's license, right? And every third time you have to go to the DMV. You can't just do it online. So I'm in there. And I've, you know how iPhones now can take well-magnified pictures? Yeah. So I'm sitting waiting for my number to be called. And I'm taking pictures of the eye chart and, and zooming in and memorizing them. M-Z-P-L-D. M-Z-P-L-D. And then she called me up and she went, okay, close one eye. And I couldn't see a thing. Oh, and I went, no. M-L-D-S-P-Z. Yes, no well, problem. When I went oh, there, my boy, God. She goes, when you come to such and such, she goes, she, 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 like, do you go to A, this one, B, this one, or C? And she's pointing to the fucking... The right do you eye. go to A... <laughs> or B or C. <laughs> That's what she did. A. <laughs> yeah, I memorized. I couldn't see. It. I can see it with both. Must be, I must have a one eye thing because she. They say now do that. Now do that. Yeah. When I did that, I'm like, and I just I'd memorized it because I was Shit. taking pictures. I do you know what now? Don't even bother to drive. No, I can't see at night. No. At night. Uh, yeah, night, night is uh, difficult. The only, thing, and I have the only drawback with these cataract surgeries or whatever it's called. At night, the fucking headlights. Uh, oh, uh, does the sparkle the blur, thing? Yeah. Is, but you're not driving, so you're no, all right. No, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the only downside of it. Yeah. I just guess at night. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I know LA very well. I know that if I turn right, it's Highland, so I don't need to see the sign that says it's Highland. I, I wish I could read one. I wish I could read any sign. Actually, I do a lot of driving from Beverly Hills to Thousand Oaks because girlfriend. So it's one hundred and one. There's three lanes. I mean, I, yeah, you, know, you can. If I drift, I've I've got plenty fine. of space. Yeah, that's still a, the story of the, the, when the cop stopped you. Oh, the speeding one. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, share that story. You know. But I will. Sh- I will share the other driving story where we broke the brand new Ferrari. We've shared that one a lot, mind. That was a fun day. Remember that? All right, uh, 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 all right in England. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that was part of a whole other trip that I don't want to relive. Thank you very much. Wasn't it shoved into the, the wall at the pub at the end of the street, the R8? It was a pub that had a hotel attached, That's, yes. Yeah, right at yes. the end. Yeah. yeah, and it was buried in, in the bush up there. Hi everyone, it's Sharon Osborne and the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Babbel. It's the new year and that means it's time for resolutions. Did you know that one in five Americans have learnt a new language on their bucket list? If that's you too, you can make 2024 the year you finally check it off your list with Babbel. Babbel is a language learning app that actually works. 
Babel speech recognition technology helps me improve my punctuation and accent so that I can sound good while I do it. Watch this. Okay, let's give it a go. Salut. Easy, right? Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off Babbel subscriptions. Only for our listeners at babbel.com slash Osbournes. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash Osbournes. Spelt B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Osbournes. Rules and restrictions may apply. They gave me notes, Sharon. Go Look, on. Notes. How, this is very how professional. Come on, come on. How does making music and <laughs> painting pictures... Go uh, on. You were doing good there for a second. Well, go on. How but does draw... How does your music make making process differ from creating... Art. Physical that's art. in. That's a. That's. It's a good. Question. Well, how does yours? Well, I, I just. I. I just doodle. I. I. I, I, I don't. I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. It's just lots of colours and shades. Yeah, but I disagree with that because. But I don't know. I mean, people say it's pretty interesting. You. I think I know that you're. You're. You're looking into more of stuff to do with Aussie stuff. Yeah. Right. But. Under normal circumstances, most people don't know you draw. I mean, it's not it's not a well known, well discussed thing. I, that I you do draw. for therapeutic reasons. Yeah, you've been know. doing it for years, and I've seen some incredible things that that I I mean, I'm surprised that it hasn't gone out there previously. Is there Have you a ever reason? seen any of Marilyn Man- Manson's? Or, or yeah, but let's talk about yours for a second because yours is good. And why? Why has that? Because Ozzy has always kept it as like a place to go to where he doesn't think of anything. He just goes there, it relaxes him, Uh he doodles on bits of paper. And it's always been something a bit therapeutic for him. And I never wanted anyone to make comment on his art. I wanted it to be because people in the artwork are very snotty. Oh, God, yeah. They're very, very snotty. Of course. And um, I never wanted him to be have to be judged by what he puts on that paper. But that's going to happen. That's going to happen when he put when you put a record out, when you put a painting out, when you like. You've never struck me as being anyone that really gives a fuck, you know, what people think. And from what I've seen, it's a wonderful psychedelic experience looking. It's almost like looking into the mind of Ozzy Osbourne. You know what I mean? It's fucking wild, some of the shit you do. And you say you just doodle, but it takes forever to do some of those pieces. I'm just, I'm just, I'm on the opposite side of the fence where I think it's a beautiful art form that well, you should a, be proud it's of. Just, it's, uh, it's, it's just therapeutic. I, get, I, I, Which I, is lose, the, I lose myself. I wake up in the morning going, what, what, uh, what bad news am I yeah. going to have today? Yeah. My head tortures me all the fucking time. Sure. But, Ozzy, let me put this to you. I, I, uh, isn't that the greatest thing in the creative process is that creativity can well, be no, I know, therapeutic? I've never thought I'm any good at anything. But no artist does. No good artist does. I, I, You are singularly responsible for me having an art career, right? Yeah. I can tell you my technique, if, if Sir Francis Doodlebug from the British uh, Art Foundation wanted to critique me, I would be toast. I would get fucked. He would annihilate me. I don't give a shit. What do I care? People like what I do. Some and some people don't. And I don't give a shit. And for someone to have a talent that creates such a beautiful landscape, I'm just on that side of the fence where I'm like, you know what? Share it. You know, share it, and I get, I get what you're saying, Sharon, because it's just, a, it's a thing for Ozzy. But I, yeah. I hope at some point his art gets seen, he, he, even on a restricted basis. I don't know somehow where it's not invasive, 
and critiqued. Yeah. But uh, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I've tripped out on your shit. I don't even own one of your pieces. We'll have to rectify that. Because you, you own don't. a bunch. You own, no. You own a bunch of mine. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Sharon Osborne, and the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Cozy Earth. In the spirit of the new year, I've made getting a good night's sleep a resolution of mine. And the Cozy Earth bedding, I think this one is the resolution that the entire Osborne family will be able to keep. Cozy Earth bedding is the only bedding my kids and grandkids will sleep in. It's made such a difference in the quality of their sleep. Jack and Kelly use the bamboo sheet set made from Visco and they just love it. It's the go-to gift every year. If you've never tried Cozy Earth, I've got awesome news. You can save up to 35% off Cozy Earth right now. Go to CozyEarth.com slash Osborns and enter our promo code Osborns at checkout for up to 35% off on your first order. CozyEarth.com slash Osborns. Promo code Osborns. Okay, I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I've got to tell this story. This is how much I love you two. Everyone knows the story. Ozzy convinced me that I should paint, right? It's very, very well talked about. But I did my first art show and obviously you guys came to support and you came, you gave me a hug and you left. And then I saw a red dot in the art world. A red dot means something's been bought. Sold. And uh, I'm like, oh my God, someone bought a painting. Who bought the painting? And they went, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Osborne bought that. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget it. Because obviously, if you said, oh, I like that, I'm going to give it to you. You know, but you you just bought it and you fucked off. So <laughs> We did. <laughs> we did, Billy. You probably stood there and went, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, we'll buy that one. Let's get out of no, here. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. No. That was, it was a beautiful moment. It was a, And you've got an art collection to die for, really. I mean, it's beautiful, haven't you? Yeah, we've got some good stuff. We do. What you got? <laughs> what you got? What you got? We've got a couple of Banksies and... Yeah. Yeah. There's a lovely war hole well, that you floats them big ones in the hall, the massive ones. Yes. Is, Is that they Yarrow, the photography? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. No, the, the, the um, big... But the, you're talking about the demons that are above the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they they're they pretty cool. I can't remember the guy's name. Is he... Famous. Ish, yeah. I can't you, remember. When you buy art, Sharon, do you, I mean, let's be truthful. Sometimes I buy art because it is who it is. And I know it's a good investment or whatever. Yeah. Do you Do you care who it is? I just buy stuff you I buy like. You buy what speaks to you? Yeah. Yeah. If I, because you've got to live with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we're not the type to say, oh, well, we'll buy it and lock it away. And on a rainy day, if we need it, we'll get rid of it. Right. I want to live with it. So everything that we buy, I would, I personally get enjoyment from. Yeah, it was good. My, my business manager said to me, he said, you seem to know what you're talking about with art. Because I, I, I got financially solvent later in life. You know, it took me a while. I was shooting up everything I could possibly get my hands <laughs> on for a long while. And he said, you know, maybe the better form of art think ahead is invest in art because you know what you're buying and that, and you get to enjoy, enjoy it, it while it's accruing yeah. value for you. And, exactly. I, and it was great advice for me. Yeah. Which yeah, but then it levels itself out because um, everything starts to cost more as the, uh, as the time goes by. So yeah. if, 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 if it was 20 grand 20 years ago, it's, 50 grand now, everything else has come to this. Yes and no, Ozzy. If you're lucky, art has a return. This is going to get technical, but art has a return on investment, unlike nothing else, if you get lucky. Mm. You know, there are stories. There's a lot of bootlegs. That... There are. you got to be careful. I mean, Salvador Dali's been bootlegged more than anybody. He's one of the few artists yeah. 
that was alive in his you know, in his he heyday. Was, well, that's a that's a big thing with art is alive or dead. You yeah. know, blah, blah, blah. But look, there was a Basquiat that the highest selling American contemporary modern sale was Basquiat, and it was one hundred and sixteen million dollars. And it was a canvas a few years ago. And the people that bought it, bought it for $20,000. Fuck you. Shut up. Yeah. It was a couple. Yeah. Bought it from Jean-Michel Basquiat, early 80s, hung it up, enjoyed it for all that time. And then. Decided to sell it, went up in Sotheby's, $116 million. Now, that's a return on your investment you just don't get. Anyway, you would never dream that it would no. be that much. It's life changing. Same yeah. as Lars Ulrich. Uh, he flogged a couple of Basquiat's, I think. And so, uh, and Robbie sold a, sold his Banksy's at auction. That was an auction I watched live. I was interested because I was there when he bought them. Yeah. And so, did he? Oh, he dude, must he, have made out like he, a bandit. Yeah, he made it. Yeah. He, he bought a couple of houses in uh, Montana with that. It was great. I mean, good for him. Yeah. But you've got to have an agent of it if you're going to buy an investment. Uh, no. No, not at all. No, you go down to, if, you, if you're if you lucky enough to get one at auction. Or even before auction. You, I mean, buying stuff can be bought I like when somebody buys them from a junk shop for five quid and What's makes that? a I TV love, show. I love, oh. Antiques Roadshow. Yeah. Do you watch that? Of course. I love it. I love when they think they've got something. And it's and shite. Yeah, and they're looking at it and they're like, oh, yes, yes, yes. well, you know. Made in Hong Kong. Unfortunately, this is worth four quid, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and they're, and they're like, like, oh, oh shit. I know. But I think being surrounded by nice art is a wonderful thing. I think that um, I don't think it needs to be Andy Warhol. I think it's just, nice art means something that you respond to yeah. when you look at yeah. it. We, we went out, out, out with him a few times. Oh, yeah. Ozzy, tell me about that, because he's obviously one of my art heroes. Well, you, you, we went out with him and his posse, but uh, he didn't say much. He just sat, <laughs> he didn't say, he was like, didn't fucking speak. Were, so, you, you, were you there? Oh, yeah. And then we, we went to dinner, and then we went to a club. All of us went to a club, and... Um, was he never got out of the car, and um, he well, just said, sure, he him. dumped me, and uh, with old Wiggy, and he's he's off with the limo driver looking for coke. Of course, this has got to be New York. Yes, yeah, of yeah. course it was New York. So you York. dumped the you wife with Andy Cameron. Warhol. You know him killing them cameras of Polaroids. Yeah, that's all he would do. So he was a bit of a not weirdo, but he was strange. Strange bird. Yeah. What you would spoke. expect. What you would expect. He whispered. When you were hanging out with him, was he who he was? Yes. So yes. He, he had achieved, because yeah. I know there was a certain point where he had achieved being Andy Warhol and was still alive. So he was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He'd it, been, been shot by then, hadn't he? Yes. Yeah, he got yeah. shot early on. The other person that's fun to talk to about this stuff for me anyway is China Chow and Mr. Yes. Chow. Yeah. Because... So Jean-Michel Basquiat, when he was struggling, uh, Mr. Chow would give him food. For right? pictures. For pictures. So Chow's got an amazing Basquiat collection. And China would say, oh, I used to come down the stairs in the morning and Jean-Michel was asleep on the couch. You know, crazy stories. But that was New York. That was a time in New York, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, what a time in New York. Yeah, I, I wish John, I'd John have Lennon experienced that. Was, to go, go out with all. That, that was the Russian tea room. I never went. Went there, you, you went there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, what went on there? No, that's, that's where they used to meet up. Yeah, yeah, the Russian the what, tea room. At the tea Russian room. tea room. I yeah. never went in there. Sharon, it was, it was just fantastic. You see, you see all kinds of people in there. Yeah. Salvador Dali. Kind of like Hugo's on Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, you get really? walk in there, Bowie, you know. Well, fucking David Bowie, yeah. sat, he was sitting there. Well, it's so strange because Hugo's is just like you get pancakes and eggs. And he was sitting there, everyone, everyone, goes everyone. There. everyone. Reading the fucking paper. Yeah. He, just showed, he, called, he shouted my name across the road. Oh, fuck, where's David Bowie? No, no, no. Uh, did you go and say hi? He came over, he said, how you doing? 
My name's David Bowie. He called, yeah, he called, he called you up a few times. Yeah, for meetings. Nice. Yeah, that's he nice. was very nice. That's really cool. Very nice guy. And we saw, um, oh God, what's his name from the Pistols? Well, Steve John. Steve, Paul. Steve. Steve. In there a few times. Oh, he yeah. would always come over to the table. Yeah, Jonesy was a Hugo's man. Yeah. Yeah. You I mean, know where I, we're going? I remember like that guy for Adam and Nianz. He was yeah. always in there reading. Adam and Nianz, he was, was always reading scripts in there. Yeah. Who? The guy from Adam and Nianz. Adam? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, the grill is a great place. Yeah, we've been going there a lot. Yeah, I like it. I, I like oh, it can you lot. believe that Barney's Beaner is still going? Can you believe that Sweet Lady Jane closed? How dare they the without sending thing. a cake? <laughs> the amount of cakes we've all bought from Sweet Lady I'm Jane. I'm like, like we're all in shock. I, it's it's a travesty. Yeah. How dare they? That triple berry cake. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. How dare How they do it? it? Every time I come here, we always end up just talking about food. Because we're all foodies. We all love it. All the time. Yeah. Pavlovas when Melinda's here. But I'm not a foodie foodie that goes for like Michelin star restaurants. I'm not into food like that. I just like plain You don't good like a nice food. restaurant? I do, but not too poncy. I don't I'm no. not no, not where it's a massive plate with one ravioli. One in little the thing with a tiny drizzle oh, of some no, kind no, of dressing on it. Anything like, that no. says drizzle, I don't want. A, I don't Forget want it. your we drizzle on get my plate. I like a restaurant when you get lots of different things to, ch you know. Oh, I don't. Yeah, like chows. You like chows. And another thing I don't like on my plate when I read it on a menu is foam. Oh. I don't want. I don't want your foam. A bubbly bit of shit. It looks like it comes out of a frog's it's, ass. And it's also green usually. Yeah, frog's and, ass. And so there's a What's drizzle foam? of this and some foam of that. I'm like, yeah. I don't What's need. Foam? They they fucking do it on in poncy places, and it is literally like soap bubbles that's coloured, and it's on your food. It's and it's a foam compote of of apricot and leeches. Yeah. Like See, I just, I'm not into those sort of restaurants no, no. at all. No, I, d I don't like them either, but no. I do like nice restaurants. Sure. I l I d it's the atmosphere. Il Piccolino, Chow's, yeah. The Grill. Il Piccolino, that's good. But the new, the, what are you dreaming of he's, there? Where, no, did, he's, yeah, he's where did you go, now. Ozzy? Did you go to the Duck at Chow's? Uh, 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 Chow's is, is good. It's amazing. El Piccolino, which is the Italian. Yeah. The new, the new place then is good. No, Il Piccolino is the... Uh, it used to be La Dome. The oh, truffle yeah, yeah. pasta that we, had, yeah. that we had. Closed? I Clo think they might have reopened no, now. No, there are. Pic Piccolino's yeah. on. But the place that did close down was around the corner on Beverly that does the dessert. The Italian, yes. The, the Italian, they've yeah. moved up to sunset now. It's nowhere near as good. Really? Medeos. Medeos, Medeos no, yes. No? no it's nowhere near no. as good as the old place. Oh, no. The old place would I'd carry. That atmosphere and the people oh, that fantastic. you used to see in there. Yeah, no, that, I mean, I would be, oh, wow, look. Al Pacino yeah. was in there the, of De Niro, every day. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And another yeah. one, uh, the palm. So the palm changed completely. Moved. Moved. Was just not like the old palm yeah. up on Sa on Santa Monica, and now that's gone. Oh God, it used to be great. Do you remember with all the pictures on the did walls? You ever and... to the Brown Derby show? Yeah, I did. Was it good? Yeah, what, what, what? it was very good. The Brown Derby, what was that? Oh, a I'll show you, I'll show you this book, and it's got all the classic restaurants that were ever in Los Angeles, oh, and the wow. Brown Derby literally was a Brown Derby on the street, huge. The whole building really? was a Brown Derby, and you'd go in, and it was like you know very film. Yeah, you'd see every actor yeah. you've ever and dreamed of. In oh the, yeah, kind of yeah. like Musso and Frank's. Exactly. Exactly, and the atmosphere was just great. The old me, waiters so. that had been there a hundred yeah. years, and you know yeah. they're all characters. Yeah, yeah. The the drawings on the palm that was one of Steve Jones's claim to fame is that he had a caricature. Yeah. On the wall. Yeah. Oh, but, they used to do great fries and oh, it's fantastic and onions in there. Do you remember? Yeah, and we the used to string. send them. I'm not being funny, Jonesy. I mean, so when jo Jonesy had a line the other night, we went to the grill and they said, 
he said, there's only four of us, but we're going to eat like there's six of us, right, to get the big booth, right? And so he commands, he has a commanding presence in a restaurant. And in the palm, his thing was they never had peas on the menu, but pavilions was down the street. So the moment you walk in with Steve Jones, someone out the back Would leaves, go. goes down to pavilions, buys some peas, because we are going to sit down and we want lamb chops and we want peas. And they would serve in peas. Yeah. And I love restaurants that will do that. For yeah. You. Oh, yeah. You The worst is when you, you ask for something to be changed on a dish yeah. and then they come back. Then, no, the chef won't oh, do I, that. I, I enjoy a good argument because if I, look, if I see a salad with avocado in it and then I see a pasta with tomato in it and I go, I'll tell you what I want, that pasta, but I'd like the avocado. I'd like, can you sub the tomato for avocado? We can't do that. Why? Well, we don't do that. But you've got avocado in that salad. Take the same avocado and cut it up and put it. I'm nope, sorry, we sir, won't we do don't it. do that. See, so, that's so, too ponzi for me. I'm, I'm out not by in, then. See ya. We saw them service stations on, on, the, on, the, in the, on the motorways in England. Yeah. You go, you go oh, bangers are mad. And you go, can I have banger around? Where's the children? Oh, oh, oh. The kids' menu, yeah. And they go, <laughs> We can't serve you that. I'll have two. Yeah. No, no. You, you have that. That's your menu. This is the kids' menu. And I won't switch. You know what you do then? You go on the, in the M1 service stations. If you go outside and give a family of four a fiver, can I borrow your kid for a second? <laughs> I had a motorway, yeah, yeah. Go, oh, my he God. Goes, then, he goes straight back in with then, someone else's kid. Then he goes, see you eating, and I'll give you a bollocking. They, <laughs> but a lot of the menus in hotels where you'll see in the back, they'll have a kiddies menu, usually cheese toasty. Yeah. That's what I and order. And that's what you want, yeah. That's what I want with some soup. Years ago, when the kids were little, and it was, you know, the kids' meal at McDonald's. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't think about taking a kid anywhere near that place now. No. Never. Hell no. Ever. And how it's all changed. Yeah. It's like when you, when you think about it and you go, I can remember that they used to put the menu on the wall. It was like a poster and then it would have all of the nutrients and the good stuff yeah. and everything was like labeled out. Yeah. They must be laughing. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course, of course. No, I, I, uh, I don't like Ponzi restaurants, but I do like, like good quality food. Sure, I'm not, I'm not really a greasy spoon guy. Me and, neither. I and like it's it not, clean, simple. Yeah, it's not because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm like, I just don't like the greasy spoon food. I just don't like no, it. No, I don't. I, I have you, Ozzy. You know the Postmates app. Do you know what Postmates is? Yes. So they deliver food, and I've got a real issue because Matsuitsa is right at the end of my street. It's two blocks away. And I swear to God, every night I sit down, I'm like, okay, just, just get a pizza, just get a salad, just get. And I go on the app, and I'm like, oh, fuck it. So I'm ordering Matsuitsa every, every night. night. Yeah. Um, which is, Matsuitsa is very posh sushi. Oh, yeah. Very posh sushi with a very posh price, price tag. Price tag, yes. And I've whittled it down. I can order for about 90 oh, bucks. I don't. I don't. I think <laughs> sushi. I swear to God. Get out of I've, here. I've whittled it down to about 85. It's a fine art. It's a fine art. I've got it down to about 85 and it's still filling. But what happens with Postmates is plus the tax, plus the tip, plus the this, plus the mm -hmm. that. I can't be doing this every single night. I mean, it's a lot, but it's so good. It's so good. Well, I, don't, it, I don't eat poop. You don't do the sushi, do you? Not, Not anymore. anymore. Is that because of the... Uh, no, because with worms. Get, it's paras paras parasites. Parasites, yeah. Kerry Simon died of it. It's Remember Kerry Simon? Yeah, Simon's course. restaurant? Yeah, it's yeah. It's... um. People think that it's very rare, but it's not. Oh, don't, don't, don't. We have to change subject because I'm eating sushi like five times a week and I don't want to listen to it. You've got to be careful of the mercury. Look, I just gave up smoking for fuck's sake. I mean, Now you've got to give up the fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> 
what is left on this planet once you give up the drink and the drugs and the and the fish and the mercury and the nicotine? Nuts. I don't nuts want, and I don't fruit. Fuck that. I don't want nuts and fruit. I want burgers and fries and good stuff. What is your food, Oz? What it given free reign? Oh, Forget I diets. Like, I like, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a guy that goes. Oh, uh, I like that. So I have that for every night for until I get fed up with it. <laughs> you know that he gets yeah, stuck on something. You do the one thing, but Indi- you you're an Indian guy. You like a good color. No, I, 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 uh, you know, it's not, if that's the flavour of the month, that's what I'll eat. That's quite true. I remember one of the Aussie tours or Sabbath tours where it's just like fucking curry every night. Well, yeah. we've been we've been on the salmon phrase too. Yes, yes. The salmon yeah, the and brown sa- rice. Salmon and brown rice. That's a Billy Idol thing. Every every day, salmon brown rice. But he eats sushi every day. You're not. I wow. might have to talk to you about that. Like, is it seriously worms and mercury oh, and all that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you constantly eat it, Parasites. the mercury builds up. You should have you. Really? You should be tested for mercury. Yeah, the levels. See what you are. Because I only know because Amy used to have live off it. In a, a really? And she had levels. to have a whole. Have you ever detox. been in poop just where you got to send some of your poop into me? <laughs> it's fucking gross. Ozzy, I can't say that I've ever sent my poop anywhere. Except down the toilet. Except down the toilet. That's a horrible fucking test. Actually, tell a lie, I have actually done that. I can't remember why, but I have shat in a thing. And yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, it's not my favourite fucking test. Fuck now, that. what's that got to do with sushi? <laughs> but it's for parasites. Oh, yeah. But, but there's a... There's... <laughs> You, you can, you, I can't you, believe you can we're get, on this. You can get a parasite. Can you see it wiggling it around? Go, it goes in no. your eyeball. It comes through your food and it turns its way up to your eyeball like a worm in your eye. Really? Yeah. From your ass? From from your fair mouth. That's when, they start, that's when they start calling you, oh, shit eye. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, one goes down, down the one pipe and the other one goes up to your, your eye, eye. Can you... And you can, are you, know, you, this, you, are you winding us up, yes, Wazzy? I think he is. You can see this maggot in your eyes. It goes in your eye. Okay. Is this a wind-up? I swear I'm on my pearls like I'm not working. Can you see these maggots? Yeah, you, you, can, you can see them in your eye. Oh, the white, fucking eye. Okay. <laughs> Where, where did we where did we see them? Uh, online? I just showed you. I can't remember. If it was on the internet, it must be true. Um, Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you mean if it's in the paper, it's true? Yeah, oh God, yeah. Who reads the paper anymore? Do you read? Do you read like? Do you do still do the Sunday Times? When, when I go in home, England? I read the papers Why every day. Why is the English newspaper system still something that is a good weekend read? Fun, nice. Yeah. And why not here? What I do here? not know. I do yeah, not know. They uh, uh, still like to waste fucking paper in England. Yeah, but no, certain, like the Sunday Times, I think, is yeah, a really does, nice Sunday read. It's great because you can read about anything you want. It is there. Literature and film and art and, and politics. and it's Property. Yeah. The whole I, don't read, I don't read very well. Can't. But there's nothing like that here. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not, I mean, no. the LA Times I love, was I love like YouTube. on a Sunday was great. Fucking addict, so that's do you, all I do. I when don't you watch do the TV. YouTube, do you start watching one subject and like an hour later you're watching something completely fucking? It's different? fucking great because you, 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 there's no ad, there's no. I buy it. Uh, I, I'll yeah. get that thing that you get rid of all the ads. Yeah, because I, I hate TV ads. It fucking drives me he, nuts. Has full conversations with himself while he's watching it. He's like, "Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh no! Oh Jesus!" As you're walking around the house, you can hear him yes. having a. You call. must yeah, be fucking it, joking. He does it in bed, <laughs> and I'm like, "He goes you say? straight into my hearing aids." So I'm going, "You're fucking joking! What a <laughs> she can hear you." Yeah, and I think he's talking to me. No, no chance. He's just. Talking to himself, <laughs> he makes comments about everything out loud. I, I mean, I do talk to myself in my house. Do you? Well, I, can yeah, hear, I can hear yeah, everything I in my in my in my earplugs. Yeah, no, but I, uh, I forget that it, uh, 
It's quiet for everybody else. I didn't know I talked to myself until my girlfriend told me I did. But I do things like if I'm getting ready, and I realized I did it this morning. I'm getting ready and I'll go, oh, I'll tell you what I need to do. No, I, I, I have thought You're telling I, yourself. I, I, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I have arguments in my life. I just go, you fucking what? To yourself? Yeah. Oh, he's Sharon like goes, taxi driver in the mirror, that scene in Taxi Driver. <laughs> oh, Travis Bickle. That's, that's me. Yeah, I do. I worry about myself sometimes because I, I know I live alone, like alone. There's no, not even a dog. And I'll be like, okay. got a couple of plants. So I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to do that and I need to take that with me. Oh, and I. I'm talking to myself. Is that a sign of madness? No. Is it endearing? <laughs> so, uh, all right. So we've established that we talk to ourselves. Uh, probably the only time I ever do that is if I'm looking for something and I can't find it. Then okay. it's like, for fuck's sake, where did yeah, I put it? Yeah, what did it? I do with it? Yeah. What did I do? Well, that happens 10 times a day. Oh, do you ever do that? You go, well, what the fuck did I do with that piece of card? card? And you got it in your fucking hand. Yeah. Sunglasses on my head. Yep. Where the fuck are my sunglasses? I'm out in the car. I'm looking in the car. I'm, and you've been... You, Jerry, where, where were we? You lost them. No, you left them on the roof of the car. That no, was, no, no, no. no was in London, your wallet? I remember in London and you went back to the fucking bridge. On that same trip, I, 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 <laughs> oh, I had your mini, right? Yeah. So I put two cell phones, I went up to Camden, totally jet lagged, put two cell phones on the roof while I was putting my bags in the car, got in the car, drove off, got all the way to Welders from Camden and went, fuck, cell phones. Turned round, came all the way back to Camden and there they were, flat as a pancake, in the road, both phones. I'd just driven off with them on the street. And then you guys got to town and we went on the boat. Yeah. And we went <laughs> we went on the boat and I left my sunglasses and we got halfway to Welders before I went, guys, I've left my sunglasses. And what we, boat? We went on the Thames, Sharon. Come to on. To the O2. To, to back, the O2. Back from, from the O2. That's right. Yeah. That's and I left, lovely. And, every, and that, the thing is, everyone was tired. The fuck, it was a long day, a long night. And I... Idiot me are the one going, <clears throat> um, can we turn round? <laughs> yeah, I bet you had your... Look on your phone, she was like, oh, no. <laughs> Weren't they chrome heart ones they with were gold chrome, on? They, they were like did you, really... Did you find them? No, did I fuck? And that's when Kelly went, don't worry, I've got... An... They weren't chrome hearts. They were solid gold frame Dolce & Gabbana, solid gold oh. of thousands of dollars. They only made 30 pairs. Kelly's apparently got a pair. And she went, don't worry, Billy, I've got a pair. I'll give them to you. I've never seen them. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was a loss. And I bought two pairs and the if, other pair if, I when stood you lose on. Through... I put them in my shoe going through Heathrow Airport and then got through the thing. Why in the shoe? Oh, you mean in the tray. Yeah, my yeah, shoes yeah. were in the tray, yeah. put the sunglasses in my shoes. Then yeah. I got the other side, I put my shoes on. So you trod and on trod them. on them and flatten oh, them. Jesus, Billy! <laughs> he just fucking cracks up. <laughs> it's it's something what I would do. Yeah, I know, I know. I think we're we're kind of we're kind of winding down. Just so you know, they gave me a bunch of notes on cards for this show. We haven't looked at them once, and I never do. We never do, right? We don't we don't care no, about them. No, no. So basically, they're doing a really good job and of taking producing. hours and days of their lives producing shit that you guys and me just ignore. Yeah. It's awesome. This job is amazing. Yeah. We know our shit, don't we? <laughs> we do. Been doing it a while. Um, Honorary Osborne, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming down. I'll see, you, uh, I'll see you in about five minutes in the kitchen. Yeah, it's oh. like you're my eldest son. That's what Ozzy said. He said, I'm like another son yeah. that gets the call. Uh, Osborne's. <laughs> Osborne's calling. Osb it's, the, it's not a bat phone. It's an Osborne phone. Well, it is a bat-shaped phone that rings when he calls me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>